Okay, so today's topic is car crashes, and more specifically, car rollovers. So I have a story for you, a couple stories. So what brings me to this topic is that when I was driving back home from Utah, I saw a rolled over car. Now I don't know. Okay, this is the example of what the vehicle looked like from the front. It was actually on its side. The airbags were deployed and I didn't see anybody around or anybody in the vehicle. I didn't see any noise. I didn't hear any noise. I didn't see anybody struggling in the vehicle or around the vehicle. And in fact, I saw footprints coming out of the vehicle out of the back window back here. A, a bunch of footprints coming out like somebody came out of the vehicle as well as a window rolled down. Kind of strange that I didn't see any any firefighters or ambulances or wrecking crew around, but after that I walked away and kept driving. What happened, it kind of looked old. It kind of caught me off guard when I came over this hill and saw this rolled over car. More specifically, a pickup was on its side. Um, I don't know. So a couple possibilities is that um, it rolled over on its side or it rolled a couple times. I'm not really sure. Um, but it was a pickup on its side um, and I stopped and walked towards this rolled over vehicle. Um, however, I didn't really see anything. I didn't really, I wasn't really sure what to do. So I left um, and that's my story with a rollover. Um, Another story about a rollover is that my friend was in a rollover, also with a pickup. Um, unfortunately, I did not get a story when making this, but um, he was also in a rollover. So rollovers occur um, in faster zones. So where I was, was a higher than 40 miles per hour zone and where my friend was was a higher speed limit higher than 40 or even higher than 50 miles per hour is often where these rollovers occurs um, and rollovers can be very dangerous um, they can be very dangerous and cause major injuries, even fatalities, if not buckled. Um, 